The individual cleaning kit for the SMLE Mark III Star includes an oil bottle, pull-through, wire gauze, and flannel patches. The pull-through is approximately 4 feet long with a weight at one end and three woven loops on the opposite end. A new piece of wire gauze will need to be fitted to the pull-through. To fit it, fold it so the longer sides take the shape of an S. Open the loop of the pull-through nearest to the weight and put one side of it in each loop of the S. Coil each half of the wire gauze tightly around the cord until the two rolls thus formed meet. To make the gauze fit the board more tightly, back it with a small piece of flannelette if necessary. Remove any loose gauze strands. The wire gauze will always be oiled before use. The flannelette, size 4 inches by 2 inches, is to be placed in the center loop and wrapped around the cord. The pull-through is now ready to be used for cleaning. The buttstock contains a trap for storing the oil bottle and pull-through. The pull-through should be properly wrapped to fit in the butt trap. In wartime, the wire gauze will be kept fitted to the pull-through. To wrap the pull-through for storage, Place the loop end in hand across fingers, holding it by the base of the last loop with the thumb and forefinger. Wrap the pull through around the fingers twice. Slide the pull through from the fingers. Start tightly wrapping the loops, starting on the end opposite the weight and moving toward the loop end of the pull through. With the loop still exposed, insert the pull-through weight through all loops, ending with the loop end. Then pull tight. For storage in the buttstock trap, first insert the oil bottle. Then insert the pull-through, side opposite the weight first. Insert the pull-through weight into the small hole in the butt trap. Push the pull-through into the butt trap until the door is able to close. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting and helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support the channel, a link to our Patreon page is in the description. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.